Can you just give us the, the baseline condition of health in the United yes. States? Absolutely. So the word I used earlier, destroyed, is not hyperbolic in any way, shape, or form. 74% of American adults now are overweight or obese. Close to 50% of children are overweight or obese. 120 years ago, when someone was obese, there were case reports written about it. Yes. Literally, there were people in the circus if if you had obese. Sideshow fat. Yeah, Side it was so unusual. It was so unusual. It is now 74% of our country. 77% of young adults are unfit to serve in the military because of these issues like obesity. Now let's talk about diabetes. 50%, a full 50% of American adults have prediabetes or type 2 diabetes, which is a fundamental issue in how half our cells... The country. Half the country, Tucker have prediabetes or type 2 diabetes, and 30% of teens now have prediabetes. This was a condition that no pediatrician would have seen in their lifetime 50 years ago. 1% of Americans in 1950s, in 1950 had type 2 diabetes. We have 18% of teens with fatty liver disease, a disease that used to be in late-stage alcoholics. Cancer rates are skyrocketing in the young and the elderly. Young adult cancers are up 79%, and this is the first year in American history we're estimated to have over 2 million cases of cancer. 25% of American women are on an antidepressant medication. 40% of 18-year-olds have a mental health diagnosis. We have the highest infant and maternal mortality rate in the entire developed world, despite spending 2x on infant and maternal care than any other country. So you have a higher risk of dying as a woman giving birth in America than any other developed country in the world. Autism rates in kids are one in 36 nationally. This was one in 1,500 in the year 2000, and the screening has not changed in California, where and the I live. And the I just want to linger on that. And the screening has not changed. So in 20 years, the definition hasn't changed. No, one in the 32 from one in 1,500 in California. One in 36, right now, it was one in 1,500. In California, it's one in 22, one of the worst states in the country for autism. So this is just a what smattering. What the hell we, is and, that? and all of these conditions, I mean, and I could go on and on, autoimmune diseases, infertility is at peak rates. I mean, I don't know how this is not front page news. Infertility is going up 1% per year. Sperm counts are going down 1% per year since the 1970s. Sperm counts are down continuing 50%, to drop? continuing oh, to drop. Oh, Actively. at an increasing rate. Our bodies Actively. are crying out for 26% of women have polycystic ovarian syndrome. Now, the thing that people need to understand is that all of these conditions are caused or driven by the exact same thing, which is metabolic dysfunction. This core foundational issue of how our bodies on the cellular level function, which is driven by our toxic food system and our toxic environment. These subtle, insidious forces that are creating slow, progressive illness starting now in fetal life that allow patients to be profitable and on the pharma treadmill for their entire lives. They make us sick, but they don't kill us, and then we are drugged for life.